प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू यू आई पाथ एक्सपो हब चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन बी द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू वॉच द लेटेस्ट ऑटोमेशन वीडियो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ यू आई पाथ वीवी डॉट नेट स्ट्रिंग स्प्लिट सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट स्ट्रिंग स्प्लिट हाउ डू यू वॉट इज दिस डॉट स्प्लिट राइट वॉट इज दिस एंड हाउ डू यू यूटिलाइज इज समथिंग वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सो द वीवी डॉट नेट स्प्लिट extracts the substrings from the given string that are delimited by a separator or parameter right and returns those substrings as element of an array so what do i mean let's say this is your string 27th august 2020 is the date so this one let's say it is separated by a delimiter that means the character right a hyphen or a space or a comma or a semicolon or anything it could be right so using that how can so when you use split it is going to give you the output as substrings in an array format so it will divide them into 27 august 2020 right so that is how it is going to happen so let's see an example okay so how to do that let me show you an example so here what i'm going to do here i am going to give a input let's say 27 august 2020 all right and let's design our workflow and this workflow framework would remain almost the same while we are learning this chapter so let's get started so very first thing i have to read the notepad correct so to read the notepad you do you know what is that activity to read notepad yes so it is read text file okay so this is the activity that one has to use read text file and here you have to point it out to the text file wherever you have it is located right so let me see where it is located where it is yeah i found it all right so once you have located what's happening it's going to read this particular data okay now once it reads it has to store that output so for that what i'm doing i am using a uh string variable input variable i am using it as input so this become our input so i have created two variable called input variable string output variable also i have kept it as string for the moment and i will so it should not be string it should be actually array of string right the output will become array array of string why because uh, that one word will have uh, it will split into three different parts right so that has to store as an array so i am doing array of string clear all right so now the input variable is done now what i want i will use a simple assign activity and apply this formula and here i am using the output variable which will have that so let me show you the formula which is our main context right how do i write the formula so there are multiple ways to write it okay so let me show you the very easy and i love that and you know, i just use that this becomes so easy so how to how to do that first is you write split okay and once you s p l i okay split okay you select that and then in the bracket what you do you enter the variable so input variable so my name the variable name is also input variable okay and after that here in double quotes you mention your delimiter or the character right so the character is this one so i have mentioned it done okay so very simple split your variable whatever your variable name is and comma right in double quotes put that character so once i do this what would happen it is going to split it now how do you see the split again for this you have to use a for each loop right you have to loop in so that you can see the output correct so here what i am doing here i am going to use the output variable and remember the type argument should be set to string because we will be dealing with string okay and here either you can use a write line activity or a message box up to you your choice so i am using a message box okay and then here i am simply saying item so what would happen whatever the array so the array would contain 27 august 2020 right it will split it so it is going to show me that data okay or else you can also use a right line in case you want so it can show you even 
here in the output whatever your choice this is just to understand okay how it works so here also i am mentioning item so it is going to write in the output panel okay done so we are done with the design and we understood so let me just run it and show you how it works okay and i am going to show you different methods also just wait so now you can see the first output has come 27 august 2020 okay so what it is doing it is going to you know divide the correct as per the character you have provided so the delimiter you have provided is this one so according to that it is going to divide all of it so it could be space also it could be anything okay so now if i go to the output panel also i see 27 august 2020 so this is the output so this is one of the way i am going to also show you couple of other ways okay what is the other way let's say i so this is one way okay i hope you have made a note of this now let me show you the second way of doing the second way of doing is you might have seen people also use the variable name first dot split they will write have you seen that okay so this is also another way to do that again your output remains the same it's up to you how you like it's you know you be the judge and you know take one of the way whichever easy to remember you can take it so in ever so here i am putting the input variable dot split okay i am using it as a method so now here in the bracket right in the double quotes i have to start writing it so what is that here the format is slightly different to what you do here i am putting a double quote here and here i am mentioning the character okay whatever the character is and here i am going to say to char array that means to array of characters okay so this is another way you can make a note of it all right now let me show you again it is going to show me the same output let me run it so there are different ways to write it so this is another way so again the output has come 27 august 2020 again in the output panel also you have seen that right 27 august 2020 all right so this is the second way there is also another way so there are multiple ways so there is another way i am going to teach you so let me see that so whichever is your favorite one you choose that so one is this one the other one is instead of writing dot to char array i am i can simply say character c i simply mention a thing called c without a, a dot or a space anything after that just write c okay even this is another way so let me, did i show you in a bigger screen yeah okay simply without any space any comma simply i am writing c stands for character okay so once i do this this way run it again it is going to show me the same output so whatever you feel is the easiest way take it okay so i would recommend the first one uh, split in the bracket uh, variable you know dot this one so up to you again it is going to provide you the same output now one more key thing i am going to teach you what is it let's say you are saying 27 august 2020 and i want only august what is the month i want to know i want only that i don't want everything as output i want only that so how do you get it okay that means this time you want only one character not the array of characters right so let's let's say i want only the month so you can apply this to all of the three methods i taught you all of the three formulas i taught you right so what you do at the end in the bracket you simply write so our index number so index always starts with zero so so there are three characters right zero one two so i am going to get the month that is one okay so you can apply so whatever i taught you all the three methods after that just try putting a double quote and write a index number so when i do this what would happen now it is not a array of character this is a simple string right so let me change it to only string getting it it's very easy to learn right okay so let me so i don't want a for each loop so i will disable it control plus d and have disabled it okay now i want to see the output right so i can use a message box and here in the message box let me show output variable okay now the output should show me august okay so save it and try to run it all right you can see the output has come august i hope this would have added a lot of knowledge to your knowledge bank and the ui path is quite easy and i would make i will try to make it more easy for you all of you continue to learn guys continue to hit on the like button all the efforts that we are putting from our end you know one like that 
we expect from you so please hit on the like please do comment what you felt about please do let us know what more you would like to learn okay i'm making a list of it i understand i'm not able to create videos for all the request um, right that is quite practical it is not easy to do it but again i'm going in a sequence and i'm going to create a lot of videos for all of you to make it easy okay give me some time thank you for watching have a great day guys i'm going to come up with the next set of vivi.net videos have a great day